Hey, this is Maddie Montgomery, the vocalist for the band for today. It's triplexchurch.com. Edit that out. In my life, uh, porn has, has been like a consistent struggle, and that is whether I'm consistently failing or not has, has changed in my life, but it's been something that is, uh, you know, an area that I have to be conscious of. Um, you know, I, I was addicted to pornography for years. There, there would be days that I would spend, you know, hours and hours a day looking at pornography and, and searching, it, searching it out and trying to find different websites. And, um, you know, when I was all through college, it was, it was, a daily thing, a daily thing that I dealt with. I, I had always expected that when I got married it wouldn't be an issue anymore. Uh, I figured, well, I'll just do this until I get married and then it's going to be fine. Um, and that's that's such a lie and that's so fake and that's so not the case uh, because the issue is not sexual release and I think the whole world will tell you, no, it's just, you know, you just got to have some release. Like if you're not having sex, what are you going to do? You got to find something. And, and I feel like that's a lie from the enemy because what's really happening is that you are, um, you're defining your own worth by your ability to obtain sexuality. And that's, that's something that the whole world tells you. Like if, you know, if you're having sex with beautiful girls or, or if you're, um, you know, dating the, the prettiest girl or, uh, you know, sleeping with lots of girls, then you're a successful man. Reality is when, when you look at pornography, uh, you are brainwashing yourself to think that intimacy and, and physical uh, vulnerability that you, that you get from being in uh, a, a sexual relationship with someone is only a, a mouse click away. Now that I'm married, I still have to be, be conscientious of the fact that uh, I could put myself in a position to fail again. And there have been even been a couple times since we've been married that I've had to confess to my wife and to my, my spiritual leadership and accountability that, that I've looked at pornography. Um, you know, but even, even now here in the last couple of weeks when, when we're not on tour with the band, I've, uh, you know, I've made it a point to not be on the computer unless, unless my wife is around. So I'll wake up a couple hours before her or whatever in the morning and, you know, sit around and read or, you know, make phone calls or do whatever I need to do. But, but not allow myself to even turn my computer on until she's around because, um, you know, whether I'm feeling weak or not, or whether I'm being tempted or not, I just don't want to put myself in a position where failure is that easy. Now is the now is the it's, it's normal. I mean, that's, that's like the general, I think, consensus of, of band guys. I mean, we've been on tour with bands that have pornography printed on the fronts of their shirts. Uh, you know, bands that, that will have their, their tour book with all the addresses of the the venues they're going to and the houses they're staying at and promoters numbers and everything will have porn images just taped to it you know I've seen seen bands pull up to venues with porn videos in their dashboards it's just it's all over the place it's some something that is is so commonplace that bands don't even feel the need to talk about it it's just assumed that everybody does it I was born to one thing that troubles my soul deeply is is to think of what is going to become of us as a generation, as the first generation in history to have been raised on internet pornography. I mean, if, if you want to talk about rape running rampant, uh, if you want to talk about about divorce completely devastating the, the, the family structure in America, and just if, if you want to talk about abortion uh, being higher than it, than it ever has been, these, these injustices that are all natural byproducts of sexual dysfunction, the things that are, are, are happening in, in higher frequency than they ever have before. And it's such a terrifying thing to me because it seems only inevitable that it's going to get worse because the, the natural consequence of a young porn addict is, is a sexual deviant that has grown up. The, the natural consequence of, of a, a young porn addict is not a man that can, that can remain pure with his, his girlfriend and his fiance until she becomes his wife. But I hold on to hope because I believe that God is able to do in our generation what he's done in my life. When you fall, feel me, you'll 
see my face on the battlefield. 